हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो द वीडियोस फ्रॉम नाउ व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू बी प्रोवाइडिंग फॉर दिस सब्जेक्ट दैट इज डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग फॉर फिफ्थ सेम स्टूडेंट्स दीज ऑल आर द मेंबर्स वीडियोस सो दोस हु एंड ऑल आर टेकन द मेंबरशिप फॉर देम दीज स्पेशल वीडियोस आर फॉर देम बिकॉज़ सम एक्स्ट्रा कांसेप्ट्स व्हिच यू नीड टू बी नोइंग बिफोर गिविंग द एग्जाम ऑफ दिस डीएसपी इज वेरी वेरी एसेंशियल टू लर्न Uh, some of theory part on all the pro- problematic part and uh, everything which is very very important model papers as well as all five module explanations problems all the important details everything is, is uploaded already so these uh, some extra videos uh, in all the five modules i thought to do it because uh, some extra concepts which is uh, essential for you guys to know uh, before giving the exams so that's why i thought to do these videos okay only for members so those who have not taken the membership uh please tell your friends to take these take the membership because uh, i would be guaranteeing you that if you take the membership easily you could be scoring very good marks and you will not be able to ha- have the backlog of this subject okay so it, it, with that manner only i have uh, made this uh, playlist uh, in order to give you the best performance uh, of uh, under this subject as well as the upcoming subject that is the uh, digital communication as well okay for that also the videos are uh, on progress okay and i'm going to be uploading the videos soon after this exam so that's why stay tuned and watch all of the videos okay so from now i'm uh, onwards around 7 to 8 videos are there which are uh, very important extra videos only for members so those who have taken the membership would be take, having the benefit of it okay yeah so the first uh, video the first concept from module 2 which i'm going to be covering is the discrete fourier transform okay so the dft concept and the problems related to dfts are already solved so the, the in this video we are only going to be seeing how the dfts are getting formed okay how the formula is getting represented and everything okay so like this video guys so let's start now in general the equally spaced frequency samples that is uh, x of 2 pi by n into k so these are the equally spaced periodic frequency samples which are mentioned here with with respect to the k values varying from 0 to n minus 1 okay so they do not uniquely represent the original sequence x of n so that is what the x of n input sequence we know that x of n is a in- input sequence based on that we are going to be finding the value of x of k right so based on the input original sequence it won't be uniquely representing each values under the dft okay so that's why they mentioned it here when x of n has infinite duration instead the frequency samples x of 2 pi by n into k correspond to a periodic sequence xp of n of period n where xp of n is an aliased or aliased version of x of n which is given by uh, xp of n is given by summation where l tends from uh, minus infinity to plus infinity that is all the positive as well as negative in- integers with respect to the sequence x of l min- n minus ln okay so this is the periodic sequence with respect to dft which i have mentioned here okay with respect to input sequence okay so that is given first so now you see here when the sequence x of n has an infinite duration of length l which is less than or equal to n so this condition here you should be satisfying you should be keeping in mind with respect to dft because the length of the sequence uh, input sequence should be strictly less than the total length after the calculation of the uh, dft okay so that's why they have mentioned it as l is less than or equal to n l cannot be greater than n okay then the periodic sequence that is xp of n is simply a periodic rep- repetition of x of n okay why because if we have l which is equal to n then it would be same as x of n only so that's why xp of n over a single period is given by xp of n is equal to x of n when n varies from 0 to uh, l minus 1 and it is zero when l n varies from l to n minus 1 okay so this condition these two conditions for a periodic sequence you need to be noting it down okay hence the frequency samples with respect to the dft that is the discrete fourier transform x of 2 pi k by n where k varies from 0 to n uniquely represent the finite duration sequence x of n okay so this uh, whatever the input sequence which you would be mentioning in the question that input sequence is also called as the finite duration sequence why it is called as a finite duration sequence because it would be having a <laughs> fixed amplitude and it won't be varying with respect to time okay so that's why it is called as a finite duration sequence since 
x of n is nearly equal to xp of n that is this 3 dash indicates that they are nearly equal over a single period that is padded by n minus l zeros the original finite duration sequence that is uh, x of n can be obtained from the frequency samples which are obtained with respect to dft that is x of 2 pi k by n from equation 8 so that equation 8 is not mentioned here that is mentioned previously that's not required so skip this part so this part from the previous samples of dft this uh, periodic sequence is obtained okay so the summary part summarizing a finite duration sequence x of n of length l has a fourier transform that is given by x of omega okay so if you take the fourier transform of the input sequence of the periodic sequence x of n it would be somehow like this okay x of omega is given by summation of n is equal to 0 to l minus 1 where uh, uh, x of n e to the power minus j omega n where omega varies from 0 to 2 pi that is the complete 360 degree okay for a Fourier transform so we will be considering the complete 360 degree rotation that is from 0 to 2 pi of the phase factor omega okay so with respect to that Fourier transform is taken now the limits indicate that x of n is 0 outside the range of uh, n which varies from 0 to l minus 1 okay it would be 0 only when uh, the the range is not between the specific limits which is mentioned here okay so when we sample x of omega at equally spaced frequencies that is omega k equal to 2 pi k by n okay so omega is also given as 2 pi by n as you have, have already told you in my problems explanation also omega is given by 2 pi by n so omega k is given by 2 pi k by n where k varies from 0 to n minus 1 and n is strictly greater than l the samples are given by x of k that is also can be written as x of 2 pi k by n that is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to l minus 1 x of n e to the power minus j 2 pi k n divided by n okay so with respect to the Fourier transform which you have taken for omega that we have substituted here that is 2 pi by n so that's why it is given by with respect to the n samples where uh, n is greater than l it is given by this function okay or you could also be writing at x of k is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 why because uh, l is equal to n okay so that's why l minus 1 is replaced by n minus 1 and x of n e to the power minus j 2 pi by n okay so 2 pi by n is also called omega k into n where n is the uh, input sequences mentioned here how much how much ever it's mentioned in the question that you should be writing the value of n okay where k varies from 0 to n minus 1 so this is the formula which you use to represent the discrete Fourier transform dft of a sequence with respect to the periodic sequence or the input sequence given in the question okay so this you need to be noting down here upper index in the sum has been increased from l minus 1 to l n minus 1 as you could be mentioned seeing here since n is greater than or equal to l since x of n is 0 for n greater than l. The above relation is a formula for transferring a sequence x of n of length l which is less than or equal to n into a sequence of frequency samples of x of k. Okay, So this is the resultant uh, x of k where we, which we get after the computation, computation of dft of length n. Since the frequency samples are obtained by evaluating the Fourier transform uh, as you have seen this is obtained by evaluating the Fourier transform of the input sequence x of omega at a set of n equally spaced discrete frequencies. The above relation is also called as discrete Fourier transform. Okay, so since we are applied, we have applied the Fourier transform. So that's why this name has came for this. That is the DFT discrete Fourier transform of the sequence x of n. Okay, let omega n is equal to e to the power minus j 2 pi by n. Then we would be getting x of k is equal to summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n in place of e to the power minus j 2 pi by n substitute it as omega n okay so this would be our final sequence for dft and with respect to this formula only we have solved a lot of problems previously right so in this way this uh, uh, dft uh, equation is formed so please note it down this notes i've already put it in the videos description okay the previous videos descriptions also these uh, notes are there, standard notes, okay, handwritten notes, where you could be seeing this derivation. Uh, uh, along with that, there are uh, sample problems are also mentioned here, okay. So, all of them you could be referring it down, okay. Yeah. So, please uh, watch this video, guys, from start till end. 
and uh, mention in the comments about uh, how these videos are helpful for you or not okay so that's all guys we'll see you in the next video thank you